Hello my dear students I welcome you all in your mathematics class Today we are going to learn chapter 7 fractions part 5 Addition and subtraction of mixed fractions To add or subtract mixed fractions we first convert them into improper fractions then we convert unlike fraction into like fraction if necessary finally we add or subtract the two fractions that means agar hum to mixed fraction ko add or subtract karna chahte hain to first of all hum mixed fraction ko convert karenge improper fraction mein and jo improper fraction mile hain wo agar unlike fraction hai to hum usko convert karenge like fraction mein and फिर हम उसको ऐड या तो फिर सब्ट्रैक्ट करेंगे नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रक्शन फर्स्ट इन एडिशन द ऑर्डर ऑफ फ्रक्शन कैन बी चेंज बट इन सब्ट्रैक्शन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट मीन्स एडिशन में हम फ्रक्शन के ऑर्डर चेंज कर सकते हैं बट सब्ट्रैक्शन में हम फ्रक्शन के ऑर्डर चेंज नहीं कर सकते फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्री अपॉन फाइव प्लस टू अपॉन थ्री की वैल्यू एंड टू अपॉन थ्री प्लस थ्री अपॉन फाइव की वैल्यू सेम है बट थ्री अपॉन फाइव माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री की वैल्यू एंड टू अपॉन थ्री माइनस थ्री अपॉन फाइव की वैल्यू सेम नहीं है नेक्स्ट टू इफ वी सब्ट्रैक्ट जीरो फ्रॉम अ फ्रक्शन द आंसर इज द फ्रक्शन इज सेल्फ दैट मीन्स अगर हम कोई भी फ्रक्शन में से जीरो सब्ट्रैक्ट करते हैं तो हमें आंसर फ्रक्शन इट मिलता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव अपॉइंट सेवन माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू फाइव अपॉइंट सेवन फ्रक्शन इट सेल्फ थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी इफ वी एड जीरो टू अ फ्रक्शन द आंसर इज द फ्रक्शन इट सेल्फ दैट मीन्स अगर हम कोई भी फ्रक्शन में जीरो को एड करते हैं तो हमें आंसर फ्रक्शन इट मिलता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव अपॉन सेवन प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू फाइव अपॉन सेवन दैट मीन्स फ्रक्शन इट सेल्फ एंड जीरो में कोई भी फ्रक्शन को एड करेंगे तो भी हमें आंसर में फ्रक्शन इट सेल्फ मिलेगा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्टिविटी फाइव विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ मिक्सड फ्रक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन Fill in the blanks. A five upon seven plus zero is equal to five upon seven. If we add zero to a fraction, the answer is the fraction itself. Next, B twelve upon seventeen plus eight upon fifteen is equal to eight upon fifteen plus twelve upon seventeen. is the order of fractions can be changed in addition that means addition mein fraction ka order hum change kar sakte hain next is see 3 upon 13 minus 0 is equal to 3 upon 30 as we subtract 0 from a fraction the answer is the fraction itself next question number 2 8 A three complete two upon three plus one complete one upon four. First of all, we convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, three complete two upon three is equal to three three is a nine. Nine plus two eleven. Eleven upon three, and one complete one upon four is equal to four one is a four. Four plus one five, so we get improper fraction five upon four. Now we observe that these improper fractions are unlike fraction, so we convert it into like fraction. For that we find HCF of denominators three and four. We first find. LCM of three and four. 
but 3 and 4 are co-prime factors. Therefore, LCM of 3 and 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 and this is equal to 12. Now, we find equivalent fraction of 11 upon 3 and 5 upon 4 with denominator 12. So, 11 upon 3 is equal to 11 multiply by 4 upon 3 multiply by 4. And we get equivalent fraction 44 upon 12. Next, 5 upon 4 is equal to 5 multiply by 3 upon 4 multiply by 3. This is equal to 15 upon 12. Now, we add these two equivalent fractions. Here, denominators are equal, so we add numerator. 44 plus 15 upon 12. So, 5 plus 4, 9 and 1 plus 4, 5. So, we get improper fraction 59 upon 12. So, we convert it into mixed fraction and we get answer 4 complete 11 upon 12. Next, see 9 upon 20 plus 13 upon 15 plus 27 upon 13. First of all, we convert unlike fractions into like fractions. For that, we find LCM of denominators. We first find LCM of 20, 15 and 30. For that we use common division method. So we can observe here that 20 and 30 जो है, वो 2 से completely divisible. है. So, हम यहाँ पे 2 का use करेंगे, तो question मिलेगा 10, 15, as it is रहेगा, because जो 15 है, वो 2 से completely divisible नहीं है, and 30 को 2 से divide करने से question मिलेगा 15. Next, हम यहाँ पे 2 का use नहीं करेंगे, because only 10 जो है, वो 2 से divisible है, 15 जो है, वो 2 से divisible नहीं है. Next, हम यहाँ पे use करेंगे 3 का, 3 का use करने से question मिलेगा 10, 5 and 5. Next, अब हम 5 का यूज करेंगे. So, 10 को 5 से divide करने से question मिलेगा 2, 5 को 5 से divide करने से question मिलेगा 1, and 5 को 5 से divide करने से question मिलेगा 1. तो हम यहाँ पे अब्जोब कर सकते हैं कि 2 and 1 को प्राइम नंबर है. तो हमें यहाँ पे प्रोसेस को स्टॉप करना है, and हमें LCM मिलेगा, LCM of 20, 50 and 30 is equal to product of divisor and undivided number. Two threes are six, six fives are thirty, thirty twos are sixty. Now we find equivalent fraction of given fractions with denominator 60. So, 9 upon 20 is equal to 9 multiply by 3 upon 20 multiply by 3. Because 20 ko agar hum 3 se multiply karenge, so denominator mein hume 6 milega. So, this is equal to 27 upon 60. Next, 13 upon 15 is equal to 13 multiply by 4 upon 15 multiply by 4. So, we get 52 upon 60. Next, 
ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन थर्टी दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू अपॉन थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सो वी गेट इक्वी बैलेंस फ्रैक्शन फिफ्टी फोर अपॉन सिक्सटी नाउ वी एड ऑल दीज लाइक फ्रैक्शंस here we observe that denominators are same so we add numerators 27 plus 52 plus 54 upon 60 and we get some 133 upon 60 this is a improper fraction so we convert it into mixed fraction and we get mixed fraction to complete 13 upon 60 next e 3 upon 11 plus 2 upon 5 plus 4 upon 55 here we observe that given fractions are unlike fractions so we convert it into like fractions for that we find lcm of denominators so we first find LCM of eleven five and fifty five. For that, we use common division method. Here we observe that eleven five and fifty five cannot be divided by two and three. Therefore, we divide this number by five. Eleven cannot be divided by five, so we write eleven as it is. Five divided by five, we get quotient one, and fifty-five divided by five, we get quotient eleven. Now we use eleven, and we get quotient one, one, and one. So LCM of Five, eleven, and fifty-five is equal to five multiplied by eleven multiplied by one. So five eleven is fifty-five. Fifty-five one is fifty-five. Now we find equivalent fraction of given fraction with denominator fifty-five. So three upon eleven is equal to three multiplied by five upon eleven multiplied by five. This is equal to fifteen upon fifty-five. Next, two upon five is equal to two multiplied by eleven upon five multiplied by eleven, and we get equivalent fraction twenty-two upon fifty-five. Next. Four upon fifty-five. This is equal to four multiplied by one upon fifty-five multiplied by one, and we get equivalent fraction four upon fifty-five. Now we add all these equivalent fractions. Here we observe that denominators are same, so we add numerator. Fifteen plus twenty-two plus four upon fifty-five. Sum of numerator is forty-one, so we get fraction forty-one upon fifty-five. Remaining sum of this question you will do in your homework. Question number three: Subtract a ten minus six upon seven. It can be written as ten upon one minus six upon seven. First of all, we convert unlike fraction into like fraction. For that, we take LCM of one and seven. We first find LCM of one and seven. But one and seven are co-prime numbers.
therefore lcm of 1 and 7 is equal to product of 1 and 7 is equal to 7 now we find equivalent fraction of given fractions with denominator 7 so tan upon 1 is equal to tan multiply by 7 upon 1 multiply by 7 and we get equivalent fraction 70 upon 7 next 6 upon 7 is equal to 6 multiply by 1 upon 7 multiply by 1 and we get fraction 6 upon 7 now we subtract 6 upon 7 from the 70 upon 7 Here we observe that denominators are same, so we subtract seventy minus six. We get answer sixty-four upon seven. This is an improper fraction, so we convert it into mixed fraction, and mixed fraction is nine complete one upon seven. Next, see two complete thirteen upon thirty six minus one complete five upon nine. First of all, we convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, improper fraction of two complete thirteen upon thirty six is equal to two multiplied by thirty six plus thirty. upon 36 this is equal to 72 plus 13 upon 36 and this is equal to 85 upon 36 next improper fraction of 1 complete 5 upon 9 is equal to 1 multiply by 9 Plus five upon nine, and this is equal to nine plus five upon nine, and this is equal to fourteen upon nine. Now we convert unlike fraction into like fraction. For that we find LCM of thirty six and nine. We find LCM of Thirty-six and nine. For that, we use common division method. Here, we divide both number by three. We get quotient twelve and three. Again, we divide it by three. We get quotient four and one. This is co-prime number. So LCM is equal to three multiplied by three multiplied by four. Three threes are nine. Nine fours are thirty-six. Now we shall form equivalent fraction. with denominator 36 85 upon 36 mein denominator already 36 hai to hum yahan pe 85 upon 36 ko 1 se multiply karenge jisse hame denominator mein 36 milega and फोर्टी अपॉन नाइन में न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर को फोर से मल्टीप्लाई करने से डिनोमिनेटर में थर्टी सिक्स मिलेगा एंड न्यूमरेटर में फिफ्टी सिक्स मिलेगा
Now we subtract 1 complete 5 upon 9 from the 2 complete 13 upon 36. This is equal to 85 upon 36 minus 14 upon 9. An equivalent fraction of above fractions is 85 upon 36 minus 55 upon 36. As denominators are same, we subtract numerator. We get answer 29 upon 36. Next E. 4 complete 1 upon 5 minus 2 upon 3. First of all, we convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, 4 complete 1 upon 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5 plus 1 upon 5. And this is equal to 20 plus 1 upon 5. And this is equal to 21 upon 5. We convert unlike fraction into like fraction. For that we find LCM of 5 and 3. Here we observe that 3 and 5 are co-prime numbers. Therefore, LCM is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. Now, we find equivalent fraction with denominator Twenty one upon five के denominator and numerator को three से multiply करने से हमें denominator में fifteen मिलेगा. So यहाँ पे equivalent fraction है sixty three upon fifteen. Next two upon three. So two upon three के denominator and numerator को five से multiply कर रहे हैं. जिससे हमें यहाँ पे आंसर मिलेगा 10 upon 15. Now we subtract 4 complete 1 upon 5 minus 2 upon 3. This is equal to 21 upon 5 minus 2 upon 3. And this is equal to 63 upon 15 minus 10 upon 15. As denominators are equal, we subtract numerator. And this is equal to 53 upon 15. This is an improper fraction. So, we convert it into mixed fraction. So we get 3 complete 8 upon 15. This is our answer. Remaining question of question number 3 you will do in your homework. Next question number 4. Maya has a red ribbon of length 5 complete 1 upon 5 meter and a green ribbon of length 2 complete 1 upon 2 meter. What is the total length of the two ribbons? That means Maya ke pass. 5 complete 1 upon 5 meter ki red ribbon hai and 2 complete 1 upon 2 meter ki grand ribbon hai. So total length kya hua ribbon ka wo hume haan pe find karna hai. First of all we write what we have. The length of red ribbon is equal to 5 complete 1 upon 5 meter and the length of green ribbon 
is equal to 2 complete 1 upon 2 meter. Therefore, the total length of two ribbons is equal to the length of red ribbon plus the length of green ribbon. And this is equal to 5 complete 1 upon 5 plus 2 complete 1 upon 2 meter. Now we convert this mixed friction into improper friction. So 5 5 is 25, 25 plus 1 26, 26 upon 5 plus 2 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 5, 5 upon 2 meter. Now here we observe that these fractions are unlike friction. So we convert it into like friction. For that we find LCM of 5 and 2. Here we observe that 5 and 2 are co-prime numbers. Therefore, LCM of 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10. Now we find equivalent fraction of our fraction with denominator 10. This is equal to 52 upon 10 plus 25 upon 10. Here we observe that denominators are equal. So we add numerator. Addition of the numerator is 77. So we get friction 77 upon 10 meter. This is an improper friction, so we convert it into mixed friction and we get mixed friction 7 complete 7 upon 10 meter. Therefore, the total length of ribbon. is 7 complete 7 upon 10 meter question number 5 the weight of two books together is 3 complete 1 upon 4 kg if the weight of one book is 1 complete 2 upon 5 kg find the weight of the other book that means two book ke liye together weight 3 complete 1 upon 4 kg hai and one book ke liye वेट है 1 कंप्लीट 2 ओपन 5 kg तो हमें यहां पे अदर बुक के लिए वेट फाइंड करना है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट व्हाट वी हैव वेट ऑफ टू बुक्स टुगेदर इज इक्वल टू 3 कंप्लीट 1 अपॉन 4 kg and weight of one book 
is equal to 1 complete 2 upon 5 kg. Therefore, weight of another book is equal to weight of two books together minus weight of one book and this is equal to three complete one upon four minus one complete two upon five now we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction so 4 3 is 12 12 plus 1 13 13 upon 4 minus 5 ones are 5 5 plus 2 7 7 upon 5 kg now we convert this unlike fraction into like a fraction for that we find LCM of 4 and 5. Here 4 and 5 are co-prime. Therefore LCM is equal to 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. So, we find equivalent fraction of 13 upon 4 and 7 upon 5 with denominator 20. This is equal to 65 upon 20 minus 28 upon 20. As denominators are equal, we subtract numerator. And we get fraction 37 upon 20 kg. This is an improper fraction so we convert it into mixed fraction and mixed fraction of this improper fraction is 1 complete 17 upon 20. Therefore, weight of another book is 1 complete 17 upon 20 kg. Next, question number 6. Nina bought 4 complete 5 upon 6 meters of cloth while Rajan bought 2 complete 1 upon 4 meters of cloth. A. Find the total length of the cloth bought altogether. B. Who bought more cloth and by how many meters? That means, Nina ne 4 complete 5.6 meter cloth kharida hai and Rajan ne 2 complete 1.4 meter cloth kharida hai. So, dono ko mila ke total cloth kitna hua, wo hume find karna hai and kitne zyada cloth kharida hai and kitna zyada cloth kharida hai, wo bhi hume yaha pe find karna hai. Question number 7. Subtract the sum of 3 complete 1 upon 3 and 2 complete 2 upon 3 from the sum of 2 complete 3 upon 4 and 5 complete 1 upon 3. That means, we have 3 complete 1 upon 3 and 2 complete 1 upon 3 ka sum find karna hai and 2 complete 3 upon 4 and 5 complete 1 upon 3 ka sum find karna hai. And जो इसका सम मिलता है, उसमें से हमें ये दोनों का सम सब्ट्रैक करना है. First of all, we find sum of three complete one upon three and 
टू कंप्लीट टू अपॉन थ्री वी कन्वर्ट मिक्सड फ्रिक्शन इन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रिक्शन सो वी गेट थ्री थ्री जा नाइन नाइन प्लस वन टेन टेन अपॉन थ्री प्लस थ्री टू जा सिक्स सिक्स प्लस टू एट एट अपॉन थ्री here denominators are equal so we add numerator so we get answer 18 upon 3 next we find sum of to complete 3 upon 4 and 5 complete 1 upon 3 Here we observe that these are mixed fraction, so we convert it into improper fraction. So improper fraction of above fraction is equal to eleven upon four and sixteen upon three. Now we find LCM of four and three. But four and three are co-prime numbers. Therefore, LCM is equal to four multiplied by three is equal to twelve. Now we find equivalent fraction of these fractions with denominator twelve. Eleven three is a thirteen upon four three is a twelve plus sixteen four is a sixty four upon three four is a twelve. Here denominators are equal. We add numerator. Four plus three seven. Six plus three nine. Now we find. Difference of both the sums. To complete three upon four plus five complete one upon three minus three complete one upon three plus two complete two upon three. Sum of these two number is ninety seven upon twelve. Minus sum of these two number is eighteen upon three. Here we observe that these fractions are unlike fraction, so we convert it into like. For that we find LCM of twelve and three. For that we use common division method. Three से divide करेंगे तो quotient आपको मिलेगा three and one. This is a co-prime number. So we stop the process. So LCM of twelve and three is equal to three multiplied by four, and we get LCM twelve. Now we find equivalent fraction of above fractions with denominator twelve. So ninety seven upon twelve के denominator में already twelve है तो यहाँ पे हमें कुछ भी नहीं करना है. But eighteen upon three के denominator में twelve नहीं है, so हम denominator and numerator को four से multiply करेंगे, जिससे हमें denominator में twelve मिलेगा. So ninety seven upon twelve minus seventy two upon twelve. Here we observe that denominators are equal. So we find difference of numerator. And 
we get an answer 25 upon 12. So mixed fraction of this improper fraction is equal to 2 complete 1 upon 12. Here we completed the activity 5 of chapter 7. Thank you one and all.